Yud is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be doing a gameplay of the new all the way Evo Dub Diamond Benedict Matherin. Now, I bought the already, already Evo version because I'm lazy. And this is my Road to 250k account in which it's not no money spent. And so I'm lazy enough to buy the already Evo to Benedict Mathurin. But supposedly you got to get a lot of steals to Evo this guy up. So it is not easy. But I'm absolutely in love with, with what I'm seeing thus far out of the car. Before diving any further into it, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you're new. We are on the road towards 110,000 subscribers, 6'7", 210 pounds, 84, 3 ball, 90 driving duck, 84 ball, handle defensively, 79 steel, 81 perimeter, only a 69 interior could be better, 89 speed, 84 lateral quickness. Tendency-wise for Matherin, horrible across the board. It's absolutely terrible. Hall of Fame fast switch and catch and shoot. 12 gold badges, including posterizer, quarter specialist, quick first step, chase down artist. 15 silver badges, including clamp breaker with the two on bronze. Now, because he is an Evo, he cannot get any badges applied to him. So how he is is how he's going to stay. We're going to look at my GOAT Benedict Matherin on both current gen and next gen. Now, as far as his dribbling... I mean, his movement is horrible, okay? That's the first thing I would say. You don't get Benedict Matherin to run with him, okay? Or to move with him. You don't. You get him because his release is so chick. What it reminds me of, some people are saying it reminds them of Jump Shot 3 of last year. I mean, a little bit. Like, I can see how people can think it reminds them of Cedric Maxwell's release of past years. For me, what it reminds me of, it reminds me of throwback to when Base 8 used to be a thing and how jump, how high they jump, and that's what it reminds me of. Now, I know I'm different than a lot of people, but when I see Benedict Matherin shoot, that's what I get reminded of, as far as his leaner does have that normal leaner as well. This card is green and like crazy. Movement-wise, do I wish he was better? Absolutely. His movement is not great. But he can dunk the ball decent. He is 6'7 at the 2, which is pretty decent length. You just got to be ready when he catches the ball to let that thing go. Because you don't have a lot of time to, you know, decide, well, is he going to get a load up or not? No. You got to get that thing going. And I'm excited to use this card in gameplay because I think his potential is absolutely off the charge. Looking at Matherin here on current gen again, movement wise, I would not say it's great, but his release is chick. And the, the nice part about it is it's chick and fast. How many guys do we have? That's early. How many guys do we have right now in my team that you're like, dang, he's chick and the release is quick? Not a lot. I will say you're going to have to get used to how quick it is, though. I mean, I'm shooting a lot of slightly lates. But again, part of that is because Benedict Matherin is new to me. And the other part is I'm not used to it. So as far as this fade on current gen, eh, I mean the normal fade it's not anything too crazy i mean it is easy to time it easy to green but i think on current gen he is going to be just as good so don't think you know just because you don't have next gen whatever benedict can't play this dude can play on both and because of the hall of fame catch and shoot his range is literally limitless dude limitless range on benedict mather my opponent's team is pretty good and his, his stats indicate that he's pretty solid as well. 69 and 17 is no slouch. Let me let me tell you guys, that is no slouch. So we'll see what I can get into here. Back to Benedict. Oh my gosh. I know I was early on that and then I missed that. But did y'all see how quick he got that shot off? Check. Look at Benedict. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with the card already. He got his mic on. What is he talking about? Oh yeah. Straight attack in the rim. Okay, Benedict. A little interesting dunk package on him. I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. It's interesting to say the least though. Yeah, he green. Nope. Okay, good boy. Run. Get it to Dino. Y'all good. Yup. Hey, Ben. Hey, Benedict. His dunk package is like it's, it's like he's a center or something. Benedict really everywhere right now defensively. Stop, stop, stop running plays, though. Stop running plays. That might work versus Peter Pan, one, two, three. That don't work versus Todd Ebo, bro. That might work versus Peter Pan. That don't work. I missed that.
Stop leaving him. Stop leaving Benedict Matherin. The one dude I'm going to shoot it with every time he gets a look. Halftime box score here. Benedict, 10 points. That's it. But he actually played pretty solid. Let's see, these guys are almost at a takeover. We might get like a possession of Benedict with badge, but it is sharp badge, which I can't actually be any surprised. Okay, run. It's knocked down, right? Oh, I missed it. I just, I, I, I never know what release he's gonna get, man. And, and it's not just him, it's everybody. I'm not good enough at the game quite yet. I mean, to, to know exactly what, what release everybody's gonna get in every situation. It'll come with time, but not there yet. Hit Robert Ori. I missed it. See? I mean, it's not just Benedict, man. It's everybody, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's a me issue in general. Go dunk on him. Honestly, yo, dunk the ball, Benedict. Like, I get it's my fault, but dunk it, baby. Good D, boy. All right, come on. Enough messing around. For real. Oh my gosh, Scotty is, is Scotty the GOAT, bro. I didn't shoot it. Green. The one thing he's going to do is he get a green on the court in a catch and shoot situation. This dude is literally chick. Oh my gosh. Benedict Matherin's got it. As far as guys that are uh, just able to knock down shots, he's got to be up there. I mean, how many guys are more chick than, than he is? I think the list is short, man. Get it to him. Get it to him. Dunk it. He got 18 points in a game, and it's been a pretty efficient 18 if you ask me. Remember, this is my first game with the guy. It's not like I've played a it's off. It's not like I've played a lot of games with him. This is his first game. I thought I greened it. I know it was from deep, but I still thought it was green. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. I know what he's gonna provide for me on the court. Hey. Gonna keep shooting it though. Thank you. Oh, Come again. Hey, playing lanes. Okay, I see you. We ended up winning the game 78 to 62. And at the at the forefront was Benedict Mather. He didn't do much else, but offensively, he was a star. Let's open the vault. Hopefully, I get like Bill Russ out of the vault. Imagine that. That would be absolutely unreal. I'm impressed with Benedict Mather. Now, is he as good as Vince Carter? Is he as good as Michael Jordan? I don't think so. But outside of those couple of guys, even Iggy, I would still probably take Iggy over Benedict. But after those couple of guys, tell me who else is better than Benedict. I, he's way better than Danny Green, and it's not even close. I'm going to say Benedict Matherin is a top five shooting guard in the game. I'd probably take Vince. I'd probably take Pink Diamond Michael Jordan. But after those two, give me Benedict Matherin as my next best. That's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.